somehow always have lipstick on my teeth and of course I happened to find out as soon as I started recording so there's that but hi guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new here my name is Maria or it's MJ here on YouTube and in today's video I'm gonna be taking you guys inside of my closet and I'll be showing you guys how I not only store my fragrances but you guys are also going to be pretty much organizing my fragrances along with me or really you're just gonna be watching me organize my fragrances for the last couple of videos I have just been like I record like super quick and stuff. I have stuff to do afterwards, so I kind of just stuff them in there and it's just, it's literally a mess. Like I had them pretty organized before, prior to me, you know, trying to get the role of recording and stuff. So they were very well organized. Now it's a hot mess. I'm just overseeing it. So, so I figured I might as well show you guys and record it as well. Also in today's video, I want to announce the giveaway winner of the two dossier fragrances from last video. So check the top comment of this video for the winner and congratulations to whoever won so if you guys are interested in seeing how i organize my fragrances and store them then please keep on watching as i previously mentioned i store my fragrances inside of my closet and they're stored in this thing right here which i'm pretty sure like this thing is meant for either shoes or jeans or whatever as you guys can see it's quite a mess <laughs> i have literally just everything mixed together and oh, and it's just literally driving me crazy nothing matches so the way that i had it before this is an arm's reach so when i first come into my closet every morning this would be the section that i look at the most this is where my eyes gravitates towards so these are gonna be my everyday fragrances either work perfumes or signature type of perfumes this area right here, what I had before, were like my sexy nighttime date night fragrances. Up there, I had the fragrances that I don't wear on an everyday basis, or it was my higher end fragrances. And then down here, I believe I just had like this continue, dupes, clones, and etc. I'm gonna use this time to clean mine as well, right? <laughs> All right, y'all. So, as I said, this is going to be the area of my everyday fragrances. So first one that I obviously have here is Leave. That is just a must for me for work. And I have Manifesto, which is actually quite funny because um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys know that I actually have Manifesto as well at work. Like I have it on my desk. I have another bottle. This is the original Manifesto, but at my job I have the Le Clot version. And I just have it there just in case I need to refresh. Or if someone needs a fragrance for whatever reason, I have it there with me. I also see here Roberto Cavalli Paradiso Assoluto. This is another great everyday very unique affordable fragrance as well it's kind of like a dior attic but for work as you guys can see i have quite a big dent on it it looks like i don't just because the bottle at the bottom is red and most of it is just glass but i'm like 50 percent done or a little bit more as you guys can see i love 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 that one another one that's a great everyday fragrance is ito i just hate that you have to lay it down like so wanted girl by azaro a beautiful sweet powdery orange blossom i'm gonna put it here in the front just so i can see it bdk tuberose imperial is sweet creamy tuberose super sophisticated and very luxe feeling lavender illusion from victor and raul from their magic collection i love to layer this one with leave i get very well complimented mm. jimmy Choo illicit which is everyday scent also date night scent and since it's fall right now i can also wear this one to work let me put this one you see, it's kind of just so annoying. I'm gonna put this in the front because it's short. Dolce & Gabbana, the only one in tens. Of course, this is just an everyday creamy, <sighs> white floral with a tropical nuance. Super good. Roberto Cavalli, Gemma di Paradiso. Even though mm, this is a great like summer vanilla, but it's also a great signature scent. You can also wear it to work. This is my new bottle. I used up my other one, so I'm gonna put it behind. Alien O Sublime. I'm like basically just in my last few drops of it. That's about like three to four more wears, maybe four, <laughs> if that. And I'm basically done, but I do have a backup of this one. I'm gonna put this one here just so I can see it. Wow, I'm trying to look for the name and I'm like going crazy. I can't even see the name of this anymore. It's completely rubbed off. This is a clean white musk oh, with this very bright pineapple. It's just very well complimented. I used to rave about this perfume and I still wear it, you guys. This is a new bottle, I believe, from last year. And as many fragrances as I have, you see that 
I still wear it. I actually got asked from one of my fragrance friends if I still wear it. And I was like, duh, girl, I actually have it in my bag. And if I'm going somewhere and I just need to refresh and I need something to kind of just project. And I know that it's well-rounded. Everyone likes it. It's going to get complimented. Love Express. It's very simple, but for some reason, guys really like it. See, Fiori, I really don't know. Like, I'm trying to figure out how much I have of this left. I believe, and I was told that this is getting discontinued, so this is one of my favorite ones. And I definitely have to buy a backup bottle. This is the only from the C line that I have. Um, I gave the one that I was gifted, the black one, to my mom. It's very nice fragrance. It's just, I have, as you guys can see, like, I have a lot of fragrances, so I'm very, very, very selective and very picky with what I keep in my collection. All right, another one that I recently got, but I'm completely obsessed with, is Haramein Amber Oud Rouge. Like, obsessed. Like, I just, just spray this. Oh, ooh, <laughs> mm. Mm -mm. I just spray this with absolutely anything. It doesn't matter what I have on or if I don't have anything. I just put this on top. 100%. Literally smells like Baccarat Rouge 540, the X straight. I always said that I want 540 X straight when I get to a point in my life where it's just like, I made it. That's how I feel about that fragrance. I'm still going to get it eventually. But honestly, even once I get the X-ray version, I would always keep a bottle of a clone in my collection just because it's such a great layering fragrance. And I wouldn't really want to use the very expensive one to layer with absolutely everything. So this is a great one to have in my collection no matter what, even if I have it or I don't, just to layer with anything. Cause like if I pass by it and I see it, I spray it on. I wake up, I spray it on. After shower, I spray it on. To go to sleep, I spray it on. I even spray this on my bed sheets. When it's wash day and your sheets are white and crisp, I like to spray this. Well, I would never, ever <laughs> spray the original on my sheets. So this is one that I, I'm just always gonna have in my collection. I'm gonna put it here. And it doesn't even matter that it's in the back, honestly, because I just know that I'm going to wear it no matter what. Flower Bomb Nectar is actually what I'm wearing today. This is my scent of the day. Very, very sweet. But for some reason, it has still, like, that watery, like, transparency about it. It's not uh, thick, but it still has a lot of depth. Depth, depth. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put that one there. Armani Privé Pivon Suzo. Suzo? Suzu, whatever. This is a very clean, bougie. I always say that this smells like a Beverly Hills um rich mom and one of you guys bought it and you said that you were not disappointed it really does um smell like one it's super super bougie it's the most soapiest that i have once again it has glitter <laughs> but it's not like that abrupt like chunks of glitter it's just like a sheen to the skin i'm not sure if the camera is going to be able to pick it up i don't think so but it's very just very soft and it's a spicy, soapy rose. I don't know, it's different, but at the same time, not like overly complex at all. This is a great, just everyday scent. I'm gonna put this one in front of Fiori. Roja Scandal, 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 Scandal. I never know which one it is. I'm gonna put this one in the back of All Her Main Rouge. This is not one that I reach for all the time, but it is an everyday scent or work appropriate as well. Very expensive for a work appropriate perfume. It's very sophisticated. I like that this one to me reminds me of two perfumes, Narciso Poudre. Not that it smells the same, but it has that creamy musk. And what's the, oh God, I can't believe I like forgot the name of it, but it's a Guerlain perfume and it's pretty well known as well. So I'm gonna put this one in the back most worn perfumes except for scandal or scandal whatever these are the ones that are signature worthy work appropriate etc so i think that's about it for this section right here all right now we're moving into this section right here and this is going to be my sexy going out date night appropriate more warmer fall you know even though there's a couple of fall ones here aka jimmy chu Alyssa, but you get the point so let me just move all this down here okay, so these are roja boxes that i definitely do not need so that's trash first one carolina herrera good girl you guys i was super shook when i did the video my friend rates my sexy fall fragrances because i'm so shook how like the big the dent is and i mean i know why but i didn't think it was that big just because the perfume is huge but this one has to go in the in the front for sure 100 percent. as tacky as it is i actually like the sexy as shoe like <laughs> Behind that one, it's another, like, the packaging is worth being being in the front. Why am I touching her like that? <laughs> I love to layer these together. Look at that, giving you guys layering combos without coming up with a new video. <laughs> You're welcome. Valentino Donna, born in Roma. Definitely 100% in the front. I love this one. This one can also go at the top just because I really wear it 
just every day for anything date night and work i just wear it all the time delina exclusive beautiful top 10 out of 10 100 percent the other one is Delina. Should I put Delina? I'm actually going to put Delina here in this category right here. Because sometimes I wear her to work. And I also just wear her like for date night. It's just an everyday signature perfume for me. And the exclusive version down here in date night. I know the angle is terrible, you guys. Even though I have a walk-in closet and stuff. But it's just the light in here is absolute trash. <laughs> and I have a mess in here just in general. Not even the perfumes. Just overall. Like I need to clean out this mess. Marc Jacobs Decadence and Oldie But A Goodie. Should I put her? I'm going to put this one actually here. La Belle. Um, oh, I want to show it off though. Okay, I'm going to put it here. So this one's a shorty. I like to put the short ones in the front just so I don't forget about them. Um, La Nuit Tresor a la Folie. I love this one. I'm going to put this one right here. The original, the OG, the OG. I'm going to put this one in the front. Armani Code Satin. Y'all, I always complain about the longevity and performance of this one. But I wore her to work the other day just because I was craving this delicious orange thing sexiness going on in this one. And I put it in a sweatshirt. It was very cold that day and it actually showed out. I won't say that it was like top, 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 super loud and obnoxious. And oh my god, like siage monster and all that. It wasn't, but it definitely like was not eaten by my skin. This is one that I think it just needs some cold and like a jumper. And then you can definitely at least smell it around your area. Or if someone hugs you and stuff, you know? Okay, so I'm going to put this one right here. My Kenzo Flower Elixir. This one, y'all, why am I <laughs> <laughs> Why am I grabbing it like that? I'm gonna put this in one in the back. It doesn't even need to go in the front Just because no matter what I'm gonna get it like a girl like it doesn't matter where she's at I'm gonna wear it. Okay, so that one doesn't need to be in the front at all my alien I Have more perfumes up here So I'm gonna try to bring them down Tom Ford Noir Perfume. This is like easily one of my top ten and I just bought it this year I'm gonna put her in the back just because it's one that I don't wear all the time, but when I do, she shows out. So another one that I, I don't really need to put it in the front to know that I have to wear. Dior Addict, another beautiful white floral. I'm going to put this one behind Good Girl. And my beautiful and beloved Alien, I'm going to put it behind Dior Addict. I like how the sexy ones are just dark bottles. That can be a coincidence. I feel like I have to bring you guys. I think that's better, right? I feel like you guys weren't really seeing. Okay, Twilight Shimmer. Mmm, from Michael Kors. Thanksgiving's coming up, so <laughs> this one's perfect for that. Caramel Overdose from Laird. This is, mmm, mmm, wow. I feel like this got even sweeter. It actually low-key does smell like a marshmallow. I always talk shit that it doesn't smell like a marshmallow. It smells more like a syrup. But it's like if a marshmallow were to turn into a syrup... That's how this one smells. But then again, look at the juice, though. This got extremely dark. I need to wear this again. This is one that I'm never going to get rid of for my collection because it smells freaking bomb. But I don't wear as much anymore. I think it's because I kind of just got over, like, overwhelming sweet perfumes. Started wearing more, like, fizzy, juicy, florals, creamy perfumes. Spicy as well. But I don't know. So... I'm gonna put this one in the front. The color kind of goes with the ones up there, but I'm gonna put this one in the front because I do want to wear it. Ellie Saab, Girl of Now, Shine. <sighs> this one I'm gonna put here as well. Beautiful, sexy, sweet. I have up here my Scandals. This one I'm gonna put down here as well. Even though this one is a brighter, honeyed, Hair perfume perfect for spring and even you could wear it for summer beginning of fall and stuff this one's night this one's more day but i like to layer this one with fragrances like so and since i live in florida anyways you know this could low-key be my night one <laughs> so i'm gonna pair them together i'm gonna put this one here in the front as you guys know i love sexy fragrances so this is definitely my most packed uh section right here now uh, we have black opium which i'm pretty much almost done i'm gonna put this one in the back i have pink sugar right here which i'm pretty much almost done i stopped wearing her but now i like to layer it with just about anything i'm gonna put this one just here alien fusion this is going to be great 
for fall time just because of that cinnamon it's a little bit spicy and buttery i have this one right here in my arm right now i haven't worn her since pretty much last fall we have nina ricci lexstoss rose absolute i'm gonna put this one in the front this is such a sexy oh, dark rose just has the perfect amount of sweetness it's not candied sweet very luxe and womanly feeling so i think that's about it for this particular section am i done no i'm not done you see this is the hardest section because it's like oh, just everything packed we have navitas perfumes soir exclusive mm -hmm. this is such a beautiful nutty <sighs> I thought the performance on this was like pretty soft and stuff. I, I went out again <laughs> with my cousin and she wore this one. And she's not an aura sprayer like I am. She only sprayed just a few sprays. But in the air and in the heat. Because we were out like. It's kind of like a club. But like an outside club. And you guys know I live in Miami. So it's hot here. And it's a very popular place that we went to. So there was a lot of people there. And. I just kept getting whiffs of her perfume and it just smelled so rich and very, very different. Like no one there smelled like her. It's a Netflix and chill type of perfume for sure. But I was very surprised on how well it was projecting because I thought that it's such a soft perfume when I first got it. I'm going to actually put this one. Mm, damn, I don't really have space. I'm going to put this one. Jesus. Here right there we have absolute show parfum this is a cherried br540 <laughs> pretty much i'm gonna put this one also in front right here this is when it starts getting packed and i hate when fragrances start looking packed because i just like to see and like to see what i have for example right here this is like perfect for me i can see everything but showing you guys this side right here i actually forgot to add flora botanica it's a nice everyday fresh perfume. Smells like a baddie. I'm gonna put this one in the back right here. All right, now we're at the bottom shelf. Well, this is not technically, there's a smaller shelf at the bottom, but that's where I put like my backups and boxes and stuff. This is the section that I'm gonna use for like my nighttime fragrances or maybe fragrances I don't wear on an everyday occasion such as like winter perfumes because since i live in florida it doesn't get super super cold here so i don't get to wear them all the time so i'm gonna add kind of just like the i guess miscellaneous perfumes down here this is a Mouage portrayal i actually recently sold this one what a shame because i bought a sample of this perfume and i was like oh my god this is so unique it smells so bitchy when i got the opportunity to work with a company this is one of the fragrances that i asked for and I'm like, wow, like what a waste because I don't even want it anymore. We have first Casablanca. This is one that is actually technically not supposed to go here because this is one that I do use a lot. Obviously, you guys can clearly see, but I just don't have space over there and it's pretty cluttered. This is one of the other ones. Even if I hide it, <laughs> I'm still gonna know where it is and I'm still gonna reach for it no matter where it's at. So it doesn't even matter. I put it in the front though just for accessibility purposes so it's easier for me to grab. Angel Muse, the EDT mm, version. I wore this one about two days ago to go to sleep and I added it to my hair. I don't wash my hair every day and this morning actually I was like smelling my hair and it smelled kind of like a reminiscence of La Vie Belle. And it's because the patch and the Angel Muse fragrances, or Angel per se, and La Vie Belle, they have a very similar patch. And it just smells so sweet and delicious. Oh, but yeah, amazing, amazing freaking performance on these. Lavande Trianon. Mmm, this is a beautiful, delicious, buttery oh, lavender. So good. Lavender cookies were a thing. Dipped in warm milk. This is this perfume right here, y'all so freaking good i got this last year and y'all this is a dent that i acquired in a little trip that i did like an overnight trip i was there for about like a day and a half and this is literally the dent that i like put on it was extremely cold where i went to and i just kept spraying this on over and over and over again and this is basically a day's worth of usage it smells so good Ugh, and i am stingy with this perfume because it is discontinued so yeah Serge Luton's Un Bois Veni. Waxy, artistic, 
vanilla this is one that i haven't used in quite some time i used it a lot during covid just because it was super comforting for me definitely used it a lot last year but i haven't been reaching for it anymore i have to put this one i'm gonna put this one in the front just so i can remember to use it because it's a beautiful fragrance this is my alien fusion i'm gonna put this one actually i'm gonna put it in the front so i can wear it i'm being stingy with this just because it's discontinued and it's like why am i being stingy with this when i have a backup <laughs> so stupid so stupid as a matter of fact i'm gonna spray on <sighs> mm. wow it smells to me like a vanilla liquor with a mint on top oh so good all right miami glow this one technically should go up there but these obnoxious bottles <laughs> don't fit so i'm gonna put them down here we have rihanna mm. rebel flare i'm gonna put this one up here these obnoxious bottles i just don't like to look at them <laughs> pretty much it's not that i don't use them but i just don't like to look at them we have killian princess a very true matcha marshmallow drink so I'm going to put this one here because it's short. Um, Amethyst Lalique. I actually just recently put this one for sale. But I wore it again for work <laughs> yesterday. And it's so funny because I was walking and I passed by my co-workers. And I had heard my co-worker compliment another co-worker saying that he smelled good. And she was like, oh, you changed your fragrance, right? She was like, it smells really good. And he was confused or whatever. Later on in the day, she came to ask me a question. She was like, it was you. And I'm like, what are you talking about? She was like, you're the one that smells so good. And she was like, it was that perfume right there. She was like, it's very soft. She's like, I don't know how to describe it, but it's like soft, a little bit like sweet. But it's not like, it's not like a girly sweet, if that makes sense. It just has this freshness, a little bit powdery. I don't know. It's a very unique perfume and it's not overly complex but it's very unique and i think i was just fine trying to find a reason to like declutter my collection even more but when i wore it i was like no i need to take it down still really much love amethyst i wasn't wearing her anymore it's such an uplifting fragrance but i didn't wear her for summer and it's like i forgot how much i really liked her by the fireplace another one that i thought i never needed a big bottle of i remember literally commenting on someone's picture saying oh it's an overpriced perfume as much as i love how it smells i don't need a huge bottle of it because i'm never gonna wear it i live in florida i got this last year and this den right here is pretty much from a month like the one month that we were cold last year this is when i got this dent and i can't wait to wear it again along with lavande's trianon this is another one that i also took on that like day trip we have house of siage it smells like love don't be shy but I don't know, there's like a more like a nutty musk about this perfume. The lane's kind of almost like cardboardish, not gonna lie. I'm gonna put this one here in the front. And we have Chagoff Oud. This is one that I obviously 100% don't wear all the time. <laughs> but the cold time is coming up, so I'm definitely gonna be layering her with Absolutio. That's how I like to wear it. And we have another one that this one to me is freaking wow <sighs> it's just so creamy and milky and mango smoothie all the way this is something that like i indulge in so i definitely don't wear on an everyday basis and it's so expensive as well so definitely not a perfume that i wear all the time but when i do i 100 percent really really like it and is it worth the price for me hell yeah it is <laughs> even though it's a perfume that i don't wear all the time when i wear it it's one of the very few pricey perfumes that i can justify the price for my point on spending a lot of money on niche perfumes is i have to wear you all the time <laughs> but this is one of the ones that it just smells so good like it really smells really really good mango smoothie all the way very unique i don't have anything like it and mango for me it's, I guess, kind of hard to make it creamy and not smell just gross because most mango perfumes just lean very musky and can be soapy and smell like artificial. And that one smells pretty realistic, pretty spot on. Like if I were to make a mango smoothie, it would be that one. Look, I found my, <laughs> I found the top for my Delina. I knew I had it somewhere. I'm going to put it. Actually, I'm going to put it right now before I forget. <laughs> 
was so annoying that it was like without the top for the longest. We have Angel Muse, which I'm getting rid of, but I still haven't posted it for sale just because I'm keeping the EDT. They smell pretty similar, it's just that one has a passion fruit note, which makes it a slight bit more um, bright. You know what's funny? I was about to say, as you guys can see, I didn't use it that much, but I turned it around. <laughs> And this is, uh, like, I you, I guess I used a decent amount. I know that I used to wear this all the time to go to sleep, just because it just would make me go to sleep very well. It's very calming to me. It smells like a tea, like I've said millions and billions of times. It's not Nutella, <laughs> but I, I'm pretty surprised on the dent. I wonder how much the dent of this one is. They're about the same. But this one stands up, so... I am getting rid of this one. I just haven't posted it for sale. I have here my clones or dupes. I'm gonna put these ones here in the back. They have my picture on them. I don't know how I feel about that to this day. I still don't know how I feel about that. Okay, so we made it finally to the very bottom. The very bottom is where I have my backups. So we have my backup of Alien Essence Absolute. And I'm just gonna store this one inside over there. Then we have my backup of Alien O Sublime. I believe this one is in stock at the moment. I'm gonna link, of course, like everything. I link everything down below, but at a time this was pretty like hard to find and it just was out of stock for the longest time. Great, I can't put it in the box anymore. So whatever, I'm just gonna store it without the box. It's dark in here anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. <gasps> I forgot to talk about this one. This is one that I'm gonna give away. I used it once. This smells like a guy though. It smells very cologne ish. This would smell very good on a guy though. There's like a fresh apple. I don't remember the notes in here, but to me, it smells like an apple. I'm actually gonna put it here. I know it's like. It doesn't match, but I need to put it there just so I remember to give it away. Because if not, then I'm just going to forget. Should I put it inside the box and give it with the box? Yeah, I think I, Okay, I'm going to put it in the box. Never mind. I'm going to put it in the box so I can give it with the box and the whole presentation. You know, the whole nine. Then we have here Juliana's Perfume. I haven't really used these. This is just a box, I believe. So this is trash. I don't keep boxes. This is my Montel samples that I got from Amber. That this is well overdue at this point. <laughs> And we have here the Navitas Parfums. It's their Discovery set. I still haven't filmed my video, but watch out for that, you guys, because I'm going to be giving this one away. My lotions, I put them here as well. They have no specific way of being at all. So this is another one that I forgot to add. This is Feb. I've been really enjoying this waxy vanilla here. I wore her the other day to go to work and to sleep as well. And y'all, the longevity on this perfume is freaking amazing. And up there, I just have some dossier perfumes and samples and an emptied bottle of Ariane, pretty much. I still have not smelled the new one, so watch out for that because I definitely will be picking it up and testing it out for you guys. But everything just looks so organized finally it was literally just driving me insane and i can finally see what i have and i added those two perfumes i didn't show um that this one i sold and the other one i'm getting rid of so i just have it there just so i can remember that i no longer needed but that's pretty much it you guys that is basically my entire perfume collection and how I organize it. Also, just to show you guys, I just turned off the ring light in here. But this is my closet, and it's always dark in here. It's always closed, so I don't let any light in here. And it's always extremely, extremely dark. Like, look. Let me close here. Like, that is pretty much essentially how it looks in here all the time. And this is a little bit of light coming in because I have the, um, the blinds open in my room and half of the time I'm not ever home so the blinds are closed. So that's it for today's video you guys. As always if you guys have any comments, questions, and concerns you guys can leave them in the comment section down below and also check the top comment like I said to know if you won the giveaway and as always I hope you guys have a beautiful and wonderful and blessed day and I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Bye guys!